In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Cloudflare domain to your GitHub pages. This is very simple, and if you watch till the end, you know exactly what you need to do, and you'll get everything connected in a couple of minutes here. So go to GitHub, go to your project, and once you're inside of your project, go to settings in the top right hand corner, then go ahead and scroll down and head over to pages. Once you're in pages, here you'll see your website. If it's live, it'll be using a GitHub subdomain. If we click on it, here is my example website. It's just a static page for this example. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna scroll down. We're gonna go to custom domain. And here we need to enter in our domain. So to do that, I've logged into Cloudflare and I've found obviously my domain in domain registration. And then here is my domain. So I'm gonna connect onlinevideohowto.com. So we'll copy this domain, we'll go back to GitHub, we'll type in www.onlinevideohowto.com, then we'll click save. Now, once we've done that, it's gonna scan and check for DNS records. Obviously it's not gonna work because we haven't added any. So let's now click learn more about configuring custom domains. Here, GitHub will explain and tell us exactly what DNS records to add, right? So you wanna scroll down to managing a custom domain. And if you follow me, I'll explain everything you need to do. Then scroll down even more and you'll see these four A records. What we need to do is add these four. Copy the first one, head over to your domain, click on manage. This is in the back end of Cloudflare, by the way. Once you're inside that domain, you need to find DNS configuration. So go update DNS configuration. And here we are inside of the DNS records. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and add a new record. So add record. We need to add an A record for the name, type at, for the address here, paste in the first IP4 address you've got from this table. So once you've typed in your first IP address, save it here, and then that should add that record. So now you've added the first A record. Now let's go ahead and add another one. So we'll go back to the table. We'll copy the second IP4 address for the name, type at, paste that in, click save. There we go, add new record. We need to do this for the third one. And after we've added all four of these, we need to add one more record. So again, for the name, type at, paste in the third record here, click save. Okay, so that's three of them, add record, type at. And we'll go ahead and copy the last one here. Alrighty, so we've saved this. And now we've added all four A records. Now what we'll do, we need to scroll down a little bit more and you'll get to configuring an Apex domain. Here this explains that you need to create a CNAME record pointing to your username .github.io. So if you go back a couple of times and you'll see here in the top left, your username. My username is knowledgebase yt. So we go to Cloudflare, we add record. We need to add a CNAME record, type www. Then for the target, type out your GitHub username. So my GitHub username, which can be seen in the top left, is knowledge base yt, then type dot github dot io. Very simple, your username dot github dot io. Once you've done that, click save, and that should add that CNAME record, no problem. So now we should have a CNAME record and four A records. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and refresh this page. Now the DNS records need to propagate, so give it a couple of hours, to be honest, for this to work. Now it's gonna DNS check here. What I would do is see if it's working by clicking on this link. Now if we get this error message, um, what I'm gonna actually do is I think we need to turn the proxy status off. So go to all of your records, click edit, and just uncheck this and then save. So turn the proxy status off for each individual one and click confirm, right? So I'm just gonna do it for all of these. No problem, right? Okay, so now we've got proxy status turned off for all of these records. Now it should be working, so let's refresh one more time. And this DNS check is gonna be in progress. That can be up to five hours. There you go, if we click on our domain, it goes to our website. Everything is all connected, no issues. Now, you're gonna have to wait up to five hours for this to work. If you wanna check manually, just go ahead and Google DNS checker. So if you go to Google, you type in DNS check, you then type in your domain. So my domain is www.onlinevideohowto.com. Paste it in here. If everything is a green tick here, it means you've added your DNS properly and everything's working. So that's all you need to do. I hope that quick video did help you out.